In this little street on the edge of Manchester, you may well catch sight of an international superstar. It's where he lived, where he wrote the hit that made him a household name, and where he comes to whenever he wants to visit his dad. Hello, Reg. Nice to meet oh, you, yeah. mate. This is Reg Hucknell, dad to Mick Hucknell. Holding Back the Years was one of the very first songs he wrote right here in his bedroom. This was my bedroom, and uh, the bed was over there, and uh, here was my record player. Him and his mate used to practice on a Friday night. That was where he, he wrote Holding Back the Years. And I used to shout up the stairs, keep, keep that noise down! <laughs> I'm watching the telly! <laughs> this is a painting I did from my, from my bedroom when I was 16. Because at that time I, did, I couldn't really divide between the two. I thought I was going to be a painter. This is where you actually wrote Holding Back the Years? That's right, yeah. This is, uh, I wrote my, uh, I, got, I got my first acoustic guitar from, um, dare I say, I can say it now because it's not a plug, from Woolworths. And uh, my first song was a song called uh, Ice Cream and Wafers. And it just consisted of the A, so it was like... <laughs> so that was, that was roughly it, and it just went on. Not, not an amazing moment. But my second song, I discovered this chord here when I was just playing around. Then went to there, and all of a sudden, before you knew it, I was going... Holding back the... Get away! Thinking of the fear I've had A novice at writing songs. It's about the moment when you leave home. It's, it's, it's that moment where instinctively inside you, there's something telling you to leave. But at the same time, you want to hold on to your, all of your childhood. When you're between 13 and 17, most kids, they hate their parents a lot of the time, but they know deep down that they love them, but it's just all this kind of trying to find your way. Where am I going through in life? This was my home. And yet, it, within all of us, there's this peculiar kind of instinct that's saying, now it's time to go out into yeah. the big wide world. But you want to keep holding on yeah. to this memory and to this wonderful uh, childhood experience that you've had in the place. In fact, as a teenager, Mick's own dad was desperately trying to steer him away from the fickle music industry. I said there's no not many people make it in the music game. Why not get a proper job like, you know? God bless him, you know, he wanted, to, he wanted me to do well. I, I remember him saying, even after my second album, you're still going to have to get a decent <laughs> job, you know. Sooner or later, it's all going to dry up, this. Do you sort of get on your nerves now, or do you always hear? Do you always I've, I, ne I, I never understand this with people who say that they're sick of their own songs. It's an, uh, one of those et eternally popular songs. It's 1985 when we recorded it. In a way, it seems like it could have just been written tomorrow and it would have the same effect, you know. When you write a song like that that's so personal, it resonates with so many people. I think in some ways it resonates probably more than any other song I've written.